Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my playlist where I'm covering uh, Mongoose with a Node.js, Express and Nest.js. So in the last video we have already covered uh, Node.js with the Mongoose using simple Express framework and we were having how to, we were discussing how to insert, update, delete and fetch from the multiple collections. How to define the relationships and the, the references from one collection to another collection into into one to one one to many many to many different manners okay now in this video we will quickly take a look on how we can use mongoose with the nest js so i'm going to show you what just a one simple example we are not going to do a, some kind of a demo so first of all mongoose mongoose is providing models right and we are going to inject the models in the nest js services that's the end of the story. Now you can have multiple models or a single model. The code is little bit simple. So what we are doing here is if you look at the folder structure, it is same as my any other Nest.js app. So I'm not going to talk about okay how to establish a database connection. I'm doing nothing but uh, just getting this config from the mongoose and then we are just doing mongoose.connect. Okay. So this is the MongoDB database connection here. So this is mongoose module dot for root async. This is the dynamic module and what you need to pass here in the mongoose module, the, the option is just you need to pass the URL, the URI, I mean MongoDB URI and this URI I'm dynamically building and I'm passing it through this dynamic module. Okay, now logger and all the other things are just optional. Here we are going to talk about the, the domains. Let's say I'm doing company, right? So I have created a simple controller. And for this, I have a service. So first we will talk about the service layer and the model. So we need, it's like uh, we are defining model, we are defining service, we are defining controller. First we are defining model. Model means nothing but uh, a simple class in uh, nest.js definition in when while we, we were talking about express mongoose we were just creating a schema and creating model now that thing has little bit changed here because now we are writing typescript nest.js so we need to be a little bit more uh, object oriented right so we are writing classes and for each and every property we are defining prop it's a name string, it's a number, it's a string again, it's a string and it's a string. So this is like company model we have created and we have to use these nice annotations provided by Nest.js Mongoose, right? So this is like a one model. Now we can define a multiple models, company has an employee, employee has the profile. I mean, you can define all different kind of a one to one, one to many, many to many kind of relationship that we will take a look on to the next video. Okay, and we have created a company schema. Company schema we are going to extract from the company class. Okay, using schema factory dot create class. So we got the schema, we got the model. Now, how can my module start using company model? Right, company model means company is just a database collection, MongoDB database collections. And earlier in Express, we were doing company dot find by ID, company dot uh, save company dot insert all these things how can i start using it for that you need to go to your module and you need to just do is a mongoose module dot forward feature and just define your models and their respective schema schema we are getting from the model class so your name is company and the schema is this so similarly you can keep adding this as an array let's say i have a name is user and my, my, I have somewhere created a user model. Now, with this, I can access both these models in this entity module, okay? Entity module, now you can write n number of services. Those services should be able to use this company as model and the user model. It's same as like uh, type ORM module dot for feature. Similarly, in the Nest JS Mongoose, they are providing Mongoose model dot for feature. It means that I am injecting, I am providing these models or these ORM entities to this module so that the services should be able to access it. Now in company service, you can just use inject model. 
this is the model name which you provided same with the same name and the model class right it's kind of a simple model is the company is the class this is the model company model and now i can use this company model to make some operations like company model dot find company model dot find by id company model dot uh, find by id and update find by id and remove all those things which you were doing and the create company company model dot save right so we are creating the object of the company it's like same this uh, new this dot company model you pass the whole payload and then company model company dot c that's it so the important part is how we are injecting these models into a module and at the service level how we are injecting that into service so what we are doing is uh, simply inject model the model name which is a company the same name which we have specified here with the company schema so there are two properties we are passing the model name and the schema and then inside the services you can inject this so now rest all the things are simple in the controller controller will call the service okay give me all the company give me company by id give me update this company with this payload i am passing you the company id and the payload delete this company i am passing you the company id create the company i am passing you the payload uh, create this right so a simple company model single model service which is just doing a CRUD operation. The only important part is how we define the models using simple classes and how we are putting, how we are providing this model in the service. First, we are doing Mungu's module.4 feature. Before that, obviously, we are initializing the database connection and then Mungu's module.4 feature. After this, your services inside this module should be able to access this company model using inject model and then you can just do company model dot this dot model instance dot all different database operations okay uh, so this was quick uh, because i just wanted to explain i have already covered this many times so this is the single model now in the next video let's say we build some something fruitful something like some apis in the nsjs where we are accessing a multiple models, how we are defining the relationship, all these things, let's take a look in the next video.